Hello again, Glitch Reaper here, aka the original card game for the win, and they brought it back. It's Momir time, and this is one of those formats that I really enjoy, and again, it's good for beginners because you don't really bring a deck, you just go into the event and go. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. And as a reminder, and this is why this is a pretty much digital only format. I mean, if you get really inventive, you can do anything. But, uh, yeah. You basically have this emblem and it basically says, pay X generic mana, discard a card, create a token that's a copy of a random creature card with mana value X, activate only as a sorcery and only once each turn. So, again, this means basically you discard a card, pay whatever mana you'd like, and you get something with that mana value. And things will get wild, because it's completely random. It doesn't copy anything that's already on the board. <laughs> it just shows up. So this is why this is mostly a digital format. But that said, it does have certain limitations. And there's basically whatever ones they've got programmed into Arena, even if they're not ones you can actually collect. But I have seen ones before that literally popped out of nowhere, and I knew from Magic's history, but I don't think I've seen them anywhere in the game uh, for Arena, anyhow, to actually have. So, you might see some creatures on occasion that you have never collected and might not ever, because they may have some just for this. I'm not entirely sure, they may eventually bring them into the game. We'll see. In terms of, like, you know, being you know, collectible, you know. But for now, they're just fun pop-ups. You never know whenever they're gonna show up. By the way, uh, he's a little lost. Uh, it looks like we do have some non... Uh, non-land cards here. Okay, I will... Uh, okay, I've got two of the same art here, so I will, in fact, engage. Inchblade Companion. Okay, so you can also get some from Alchemy. So digital format having a digital creature, a card. Uh, yeah, that that's that's an interestingly appropriately uh, done thing there. This also means I have an equipment creature. <laughs> they have something within list. Okay. Uh. I'm sorry, this just isn't your day. <laughs> At least for that. Sometimes you gotta hold back the escalation and just go with it. Oh, they got a hasty one. They actually popped up with the sprite dragon. Uh. Okay, let's diversify a little bit. I will... I somehow I actually want the Jumbly version of this. Uh... I will go all out. I am all in. I'm discarding this version of a mountain. Okay. That was oddly on point. That would backfire on me horribly if I used that for now. Okay. Just quit up for now. 
Now I have a very beefy goblin. <laughs> yeah, I will have to take both of you out. And I get those back, so that was a good play. That is the glory of equipment creatures, folks. <laughs> and yep, yeah, uh, this little guy is just lost. D -d Don't mind the lost homunculus here. He's just figuring out why he's lost. Because he, like, always is. He just cannot catch the break. Is this when I cleanse? I may be cleansing very soon. Or I may not. Uh, I'm still thinking about it. Uh, I will. No, I'll. I'll go. I'll go full power. Okay, that came in very handy. Hi. Urtai shows up. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm cleansing. I it, I had to. I I had to cleanse. That persistibility won't work. That may have backfired, but I did cleanse. So the monkey is still trying to find out where in the world he is. A now fishing. Now fishing. Okay. However you pronounce that. Okay. Okay, we're going big. Let's go big. Let's go big. Waker of Waves. Okay. You just can't seem to get a blue or a white ring. Okay, they they also cleanse, so we're back to ground zero. I just got the same card. Okay. You know, why not just go huge again? Same amount. I'm not gonna get re, re go to work out for a while, so I'm just gonna. Iron Croc Crusher. Okay, it comes in for its non prototype cost, apparently. Um. So this thing is going to hit like an absolute truck. <laughs> Ow. This is going to absolutely hurt. Trample and Haze. Hey. 
Oh, that's until next turn. Okay. So I should have just struck it. Should create a power stone token. Oh well. It'll get bigger next time. In rec next time, if that thing attacks me, this will absolutely have a tremendous amount of attack power. I can cleave with this if I want to. Sort of. I need another flash. Now that's a problem. Because getting past him is going to be an issue. I finally get my blue. I finally get my blue. Going huge, so we might as well both go huge. Oh, it doesn't count as casting at the end. <laughs> it would have been beautiful if that would have been an end of the battlefield thing, but unfortunately, no. Of course, that you also can't do a kicker in this format, so, well, you kind of can. You know, you kind of can't. You, you can't pay it. You can, you can use a pseudo kick. Oh, the forerunners. That was insane luck. That was insane luck on their part. The, the, the forerunners are... Basically, you get them on the battlefield, you usually win at that time anyhow. So that was insane luck. Of course, this whole format's luck, and that's one of the things that makes it cool. And since one of my, uh... uh quest right now is currently set to just play lands. <laughs> it's like the perfect time to do Momir. So it's like, okay, just just go for Momir, play tons of lands, you'll get the quest eventually. And it's the big one. It's the one that's like, play 40 lands, get 750 uh, gold. So it's like, yeah, it's the big play lands quest. You know, this guy's still lost. And don't, don't worry, you'll find your way eventually. We think. Maybe. On the other hand, it could just be your destiny to be forever lost. Uh, maybe if you follow this light, you'll find your way. I'm just saying. Uh, I will... I have a lot of swamp here. So I'm going to play green and release a swamp. We'll send one of those out. And Changeling Oh oh this could be interesting. Changeling outcast, you say. Okay. Okay. Changeling outcast. Uh so we have basically a little guy that cannot block or be blocked, and he is all and he is all things to all people at all times for he is changeling. Uh is just the way things are. Uh, I can go ahead and also pick it. But I have some spares like this artwork on this swamp or something. I'm just gonna go with it. Uh, why not? <laughs> I mean, I have a plane, so it's not gonna engage very much. This is a Momir match. Basic lands are basically what you got in your deck. Mm. 
they have the generous stray. The cat has shown up. Okay, they're just preventing all kinds of things. The dog, basically. Okay, let's go with full three. Oh, my spirit. Lutri the Spell Chaser. Okay. Lutri, uh, it's interesting to see you here. I know you're gonna be in Multiverse Legends, so interesting that you show up here too. You're not quite as lost as Fibblethip, the uh, ever lost homunculus here, but uh, you are slightly. A different. I mean, you're on Capinna rather than Ikoria right now. Just saying. Well, that thing could be an issue. However, I'm sorry, Lutri. You're nice and all, but I I need some just in case. Ah, uh, fair flames. Let's uh. This is going to be interesting, because that thing is going to be in my way. I got the Goblin Crater ma uh, Maker, so I might... Uh... I might just blow it away, if they don't have the mana to... Yeah, they don't have... they won't have... If I do this at the right timing, they won't have the mana to... Uh, it. However, there's now a... Uh, a hell kite has shown up. A hell kite has shown up. Get rid of at least one flyer. Thank you. Okay, I'm playing for small ones right now, but right now that's kind of what I needed to go with. The Raven Man. That could be interesting. Because he's very strong in this format. However, these Ravens can't block. But I'm gonna have a lot of birds very fast, because <laughs> he is the Raven Man. Interesting who he turned out to be, story-wise. I mean, who would have thought that this duel would have like an alter ego like that? Oh, that's gonna be annoying. And very, very lucky for them to do it that way. Okay, so I'm going to go a heavy six. Let's see what happens. No, I'm not proliferating. Of course, I can only block one of them, so that helps. It's 
still, they, they, they clearly have to vanish here with that dragon. I mean, it's a hell kite. It does have a plus one plus one counter on it, so it can activate that ability. Runa the Fading Light. Now, I am wondering what would be the odds of, on the next turn, them getting a Gazelle of the Broken Blade <laughs> and being able to, like, uh, fusion up with Mel. This could be interesting. However, that has enough toughness to keep that up. Yeah, okay, so that that's gonna be a bit of a ram. Rampaging problem. But I have a lot of birds. Unfortunately, they can't block, so I did not get anything with reach. <laughs> so this one, this one's out. But there's always another attack. Maybe I'll get that whole uh, quest done faster than I thought. Yeah, some interesting, interesting things happen this time. Getting Raven Man in this format is actually very strong. Because you have to discard all the time in Bone Mirror, so there you go. Of course, I can think of something even more dangerous than Raven Man in this format. Uh, only I can remember what its mana value was. I could I could look it up real quick because I know which that is. That is. <laughs> so I could just use the in-game search and just see what happens. Uh, King Darian of the Holy Crab. Okay. So hi, Darian. How you go? It's nice to see you here. Really? Really? It's like, I'm, I'm expressing the fact of what are the odds that I could possibly have that level of bad luck. I mean, that is just stupendously bad. Uh, like, like, come on. See, that's nice. Sort of. I mean, Ivy's got a cool ability, but it's not very useful in this format. However, being able to cast him and then just going with, with Ivy is very nice. That I really appreciate. Now I have something mana wise to actually like up. And now they have a power stone. Okay. So that they have a power stone. They in fact have a power stone. Actually, this is pretty useful right here. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna go with that. I mean, when you draw, I mean, lower matches are usually meant to be more based on luck of the production of your creatures, just in the middle of nowhere, rather than relying on anything in the deck, other than basically having a lot of land cards to use and discard. So, the... I'm just saying that I kind of like it more how it was classically, but still with, like, the snow lands, because there are things that benefit from being snow.
Okay. That guy's ability is likewise useless in this format. I feel very sorry for them on that one. That one was just... Admittedly, that was terribly bad luck. Ow. I will, however, pump! So, yes, you get pumped. Okay, ramming speed. Ouch. To be fair, they're just not having a good time. But King Darien, he's good here because as long as you have the right lands in play and you can just use his ability, you can keep pumping him up and making soldiers. <laughs> so, I'm getting spared from soldiers. Now, they're going all out, so this would be a big one. Archway Angel. Well, they didn't get the bonus because there's no... You know, that'd be an interesting thing to do for Momir. Instead of having, like, non-lands in the deck, what about having variety of additional lands in the deck? Like, different land types. Like, Archway Angel is good with gates. And there's no gates in this deck as far as I know. But... Am I random where is? Green Suns... Tw I was really missing this for so long. Okay, I've got Green Suns Twilight now. So... Okay. So, Vornclex's big move is... Now here. So we'll see what the next one is. Uh... Of course, I do like playing through my Momir, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know what I mean. Like, it would be good if it had, like, some varied lands. Huh. Including some gates and deserts that you might have things huh. benefit from. I got King Darien again. Just saying, I got King Darien again. So the tide is moving more in my direction because I got King Darien again. I also got the Edolin that will probably not matter because I can't enchant my creatures. Because even though we have equipment creatures, we don't have any enchantment creatures except one. There is one. Now that I'm thinking about it, there is one uh, that kind of does that. That is, uh, I, I mean, we have enchantment creatures, but I mean, when it comes down to it, we don't have any, uh, aura creatures, that's what I mean. You know, like, creatures that can enchant other creatures, except there's, like, one right now. I mean, there's, I mean, there have been in the past. But this is not that one. I did, however, get two things with lifelink, so this could be very interesting. <laughs> I don't think that was going to be very interesting to him. It's just... Just... Just not really. I mean, I gotta go with Darien for right now. I mean, I, I'll use that later, but... Okay, they're, they're scrying. Which... What is that? Oh, it's because of the ability. That cards and graveyards can't be target spells or abilities. Yeah, that's right. 
Now, because he's a token, technically, he won't go to the graveyard and actually stay there. He'll go to the graveyard and he'll disappear. District Guide. Okay, they realize they're not getting very big creatures. I guess they were hoping for a flyer to get past me. Or something like that. Again, very random. And they just did not get what they were hoping for. But speaking of hoping for, let's see what I get out of my uh, next uh, random card from you. This is a pipe. Thanks for the howl. I got the Hell Pack Piper. There have been other Pipers in mine. In, uh, in, uh. There have been other Pipers in. MTG history. Uh. And they've all been very good. <laughs> That's just something, is. So far, there hasn't been such a thing as a bad Piper. You get a Piper, you're. you're good. <laughs> Robots for dancing. Okay, uh, we have a, uh... uh we go, do I have any, uh, Let's see if I can play Rebo this time. Would be nice, we'll, we'll see. But, can I? the first run. Uh, when that thing disappears, it is going to be very disappointing. Oh gosh. Ooh, sure, and a symbol. That could be interesting later. Uh, okay, so... I do have, like, a swamp that I can relieve myself of. What the? It just... What is this luck with this? That one just disappeared. They're getting the first blow because whatever it was required uh, paying X to make uh, counters on it so it could survive, and that did not happen because that's not something that happens when you make a random token. Uh, so that was a thing. It may have been one of the Hydras. All I know is it vaporized very quickly, unfortunately, so sad to say, see that one go. But it it happened. Sorry you had to disappear because you didn't have encounters, but that's just how things go sometimes. And I keep getting extra swamps, so Okay, now that's useful because of the treasure token. I can see that being useful. Like, I could actually play Rigo. If I can get myself an island, maybe. Or just like one nicely planted plains would be nice. I, I just right now have the ability only to cover two out of the three kinds of mana for this. Of course, it's mutually assured destruction. I'm gonna go with that. I get the treasure token. Well. There, I can play Rigo. That was nice. Speaking of Cabaretti, let's make it a bit more of a party. Ah! I have a Spectral Sailor. Nice. Do I have any blue now? No, because I spent my treasure token on that. <laughs> and they only... They only exist for like one shot, so... Yeah! I do have a spirit pirate, though. So it's a ghost pirate. <laughs> and I get to draw cards, so that might help. 
Now, Rigo's got a shield counter, and that's one that we think's gonna be an evergreen thing, just had not had too many show up for a while. But, uh, basically they get an extra life. <laughs> so, if he'd be destroyed or dealt damage, you remove a shield counter instead. So, they're gonna have to hit him twice. Because he's basically got the one-up of the Magic Gathering world. <laughs> they chose to blast the spirit instead. Respectable seeing how it had flying. But what if I should choose tokens? Because now I have some to help me draw guards with. Do I want to assure or assemble? Ah, oh, these classic double spells. The two for one. You can assure yourself with your map, little guy. You'll just find you're in the middle of a mine. You're going big. Gaia's Corsair. If I only had some loot. Wait. If I only had some loot. No, oh, that's not loot. Do need to boost up my mana. I guess I'll accept that. Just in case I need to. But Guy's Corsair is not gonna have a good time with all the creatures in the graveyard set up. Now that is devastating. I know because I have won a lot of matches with Evra. <laughs> Evra Halcyon Witness. Oh my gosh. That's basically a you win in this format. <laughs> I mean, there is a way I can get around it, but... Well, actually, this works out for me in another way, too, so... Okay. Because he had an extra life. Okay. <laughs> so, maybe Evra isn't the perfect you-win scenario, because I just whooped Evra <laughs> by blowing everything away with Path of Peril. <laughs> okay. I, I, I committed to that, and thank you, Rigo, for entering the shield counter. But I still can't seem to find an island right now. <laughs> island, please? One little island is all I ask to be able to completely bind a creature. <laughs> or, I have other blue stuff happen. I mean, I could have drawn extra cards with that spirit uh, pirate and, and, and until they flew it away.
them. They seem weird, but I've got reasons for that play. Migration, obtaining birds. They they have several flyers. They're where they are at the disadvantage on life right now. Ooh, they went full on. Oh crud! Yeah, this is one of those that uh, is from old sets that you haven't seen for quite some time, and uh, this thing is legitimately going to be hard to stop. Stuff, but this is gonna be a little weird. However, I think they might be able to take me out right now. Not quite, actually. However, that is basically just game over, unless I get another clearer. Good thing I went with the token. Now, this thing basically has unstoppable. So it can assign its combat damage as though it were blocked. It still takes damage from other things, but none of its damage goes to them. So they can go all seven points right to me right now, if they choose to do so. That would mean these would be completely free to go. They chose not to go all the way. I am somewhat surprised. Uh, but I still can't take down that because that one's indestructible, so... Okay. Let's go all out, too. Now they're juggernauts. This is bad timing, Graz. <laughs> Very bad timing. Because now they have to attack. Because Graz makes it where all other creatures are juggernauts and have to attack. And... yeah. So Graz, you are terribly badly timed right now. Are you interesting? Yes. Are you well timed right here? No. That shows you the downside to Graz's unstoppable juggernaut. And for that matter, things that force you to attack. <laughs> or anybody to be forced to attack, for that matter. Hey, those things can get a little out of control very easily. That was a very unlucky one to show up. I mean, Graz, in that situation, you, you, uh, now I have Blue and Rigo, so that's good. I also have Darien. Oh, they can complement each other. That'll be nice. Okay, I will deploy the planes. We're in Kamigawa now, apparently. Okay, that, that's actually nice. Called Darren Stinger. Okay. Gives me something to throw red mana in whenever I get some. Okay. 
Invoker. Okay. benefits on that. Should I choose to do so? We'll see about that. They're pondering. <laughs> actually use that ability. <laughs> you are in the plane of Kamigawa, that's what your planar map should show you now. Orpheo! Mr. Orpheo the Boulder? Oh dear. Of course. Ah, uh, that's resurrected as an actual. Destroy another type of creature or planeswalker. You can draw a card. Orpheo goes away. Can I smash that thing out of my way? Thank you. I probably could have went all out. Uh, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, might have miscalculated there. See if I can smack one of those out of my way. Double hit. Impressive. If I can get a little mountain action, that would be nice. Oh, you just tattooed it.
Okay, that helped. That helped quite a bit. Take out the apple there. This croaking counterpart is an interesting thing for them to have right now. See, there's a lot of things in the five slot that's pretty nice. So we'll see what happens whenever I do that. Although they have a demon, a big honking demon. Two big honking demons. That is going to be a pretty big thing there. They have a serpent. Yeah, this, this could take a while for me to get my last thing. Because, uh... The Dread Feast Demon is very strong. I'm just gonna have to go for it and see what I get. Maybe I'll get something that can swim. Or not. Well, it was nice to try. Well, we'll see how it goes. So they have more than enough to take me out right now. I did not get into good reach that could take them. If I had something with, like reach, uh, start to reach, uh, reach and death touch, that would be a good combo. I know at least one like that. That would be nice, but I, I didn't have a pop up. Things get momentum with would be like if you got like a send, like sending spirit. I did that once and that was gorgeous. Uh, I'm I'm seeing. Okay, now I've got Mr. Orpheo the folder. Chaplain of Arms. Nice. Falmar, Falmar Knight. I see. I have one of these.
Yeah, I've got a power stone. do synergize beautifully with this, my dad. I think I'll toss them out. Okay. Savagely smash. Bye, Mr. The Boulder. Sir Orfeo didn't make it. Okay. Mr. Orfeo has. Now they had the same thing happen to them that happened. that one. Yeah, I will release my charm this time. Chief of the Foundry. So if I get any of the other artifact creatures, I get plus and plus one to them. Nice. Okay, that one's a wicked one to deal with. Okay, and I don't have the right mana for that, so right now... I'm gonna take that there. Okay. War of the Broken Lands is very powerful in this format. <laughs> As it says, when you cycle or discard another card. And you don't even have to be cycling specifically, you can also just discard. Which is, of course, what you do. Okay. That one, and... Those two will be able to take that out. Thank you. Okay. I will have to go all out. There's no other choice. Sorry, plane. You were nice to show up. But I Okay, now I need a couple of blues. Because if I can get that thing powered up, that would be beautiful. Although, if I can use to take out that, that would also help. Let's 
good for a, for a big left, right. Rigo. Now I don't have the... Okay. Sorry to let you go, Rigo, but I need to power up again. It's just basically basic repetitively. While tossing stuff out. That's a good one. That's a good one. But the worm coil engine, that's a good one. This hits is gonna be limited. Now I have one with life link and one with death touch. So that was a good cancel out. I can take out that croc if they don't get enough mana to use it. Well, they can use its ability. It'd still be expensive, but they can do it make it unblockable for a while. So that's gonna be a little annoying. Especially with Darien out. Uh, however, they can't do that this turn. Now, I finally get some white. Maybe. Do I want to go with it, or do I keep reinforcing my army? Because I kind of need to keep reinforcing my army. Actually, better idea. I will... Sacrifice my, my power stone. No, maybe not. Uh, sacrifice my chaplain. Sorry, chaplain. But this is kind of a... Uh, I'm going all out situation. Well, you could get really huge. Um, I see. It's been nice knowing your power sound. Okay, the croc's out. The croc is out. I don't know. I don't have to worry about the croc anymore. The croc is gone. Let's see if 
I can power up my big angry troll. That would be nice. He's not angry, he just likes to fight, so, you know, just, just fine. <laughs> I mean, a troll's got a troll. This is what they do. Oh, really? It just happens to be troll stuff. Titan of Death Hunger just shows up out of nowhere, and we have... Okay, that happened. Now my troll is feeling much better, <laughs> but I'm still going to have to get a good moment somehow. So we'll see what pops up. Right now I've got a good defense too. That's a good combo with that. Because that's whenever another creature with power 2 or less enters the battlefield, and they enter it too whenever he does his ability, so... He'll be able to keep gaining life in your cards. I'm sorry, everybody. I might have to cleanse the field. Maybe. But first. Let's go all out before I do it, though. Bye. They got him off the battlefield at least. Bringer of the White Dawn? Okay, okay, they got a huge one there, so I've gotta go huge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, they lucked out beautifully on that one. At least the Inferno is one of the few things that could take that down. the lumber knot again, so... So I can take that thing down. Hopefully. Ah, uh, they had to...
I'm gonna have your knight guide him for a while, just to get your, your knight, sorry, knight. Titan might rhyme so much, it, it really does. Pretty big match. Now I have Citadel but Prime on. However, they have too many things. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be able to stop them. Unless of course they choose not to attack, which I find very mysterious. Because they could have had me at that time. Just saying. Or are they just really interested in things that... Oh, that could be interesting. <laughs> he just... Pay one. Target creature you control has base power and toughness 7-7 seven, seven until end of turn. This is Gigantomancer, and... <laughs> okay, that, that, uh... That's interesting, especially when that's basically at instant speed, so you can do that whenever. Doesn't have to be on your turn. They have the Impervious Great Worm, which is just enormous. Okay, so I need to... Stop that thing with everything I've got. And I can't stop them all, so they're gonna get through, but they will be going out to play the course. And I will be back for another round. Minus two to two, that, that is kind of very interesting. That was a very close match. And I think there was a moment earlier, I, no, I'm thinking of another round where I could have got them earlier than the other thing. Okay, that was for my quest, which was to play a lot of lands, basically, so that went through. I'm still going for all the way to the random aesthetic. Why? Kind of because of that. Oh. And because I can. Oh. The croaking counterpart could be very interesting. I, I will admit that. Now I have a lot of items. It should be noted, it should be noted, that tokens are usually not allowed to transform or melt. Just say. So, they might not be able to actually use that ability. But it would be nice to see them try. Because <laughs> I'm curious, because usually transformed creatures uh, can't emanate from tokens. So, will you try to do that, I am wondering? Or will you go attacking? Because I have a bit of a mana booster right now. Because I got Lana Warrior, which is an old time fight. Uh, now I will go for an island. Go for all three. Because mana booster. Wow. Great Desert Alien. That's something. And it has mess. Uh, yeah, I do in fact have to kind of uh, discard cards, don't I?
That's very good. I have a very nice Yeti that can help me. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> Cannot be transformed from a token. Unless it's a very special token that is designed for it. You're coming up, my dad. But for right now, tokens cannot transform. However, they will be in March of the Machine. Just saying. Now those two kind of go together. He deals me no damage, but he gets a draw card. Yes, I frogged Urtai. <laughs> he has been frogified. <laughs> that was that was really just funny. Okay, it's gonna be eternal night very soon. Which I find okay. Let's go all out. Could help. Can't go into unblockable mode there. And note, they will never get to their nightbound forms because of. Because again, folks can't. Okay. Double strike can get rid of that. Unless, of course, something like that happens. Chaos Maw! Is that one actually in the base game? That's a very good question. Mm. 
I don't think I'm gonna be able to get through them. Uh, that was a good idea, but it's not gonna be a thing. And that effect couldn't take place because of how the power. But that chaos mod just blasting everything. Oh, and it got that. Okay. Is that really in the base game? I'm, I'm wondering, because it said it was from base gang there. So let, let, let me... I actually need to check on a few things before I'm going in my next round. Just, just saying. So let's ponder a few things here. Oh. Needing to spin. Uh... Holding on there. I may wind up having to... Okay. Whew. For a while I was wondering if I had to do anything different. It's just lagging because I have a tremendous collection. <laughs> so that that's like it's going... Yeah, officially you have a huge collection. And I'm going, yes. Yes, I do. Arena base set. Is that Maw one of them? Okay. Let's see here. not seeing it there. Maybe it's something that may be in the future, but isn't right now. Because I'm not I'm not seeing it as part of the base set. I don't see a heli in here. Nope, no, no heli in at this location. Okay, uh, so let me do something else where I'm going to do something with, uh... Because I know the set that I'm looking for for something else is Ammon Cat. And there's uh, some things I haven't recollected yet. Archfiend of Ifnir. That one's at five. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Because when you cycle or discard a n another card, put a minus one, minus one counter on each creature your opponent's control. Yeah, that's the thing. So if I keep doing things at five, I might get that one eventually. <laughs> and then that will be absurdly awesome. <laughs> because y you, th you think it's, like, strong... With the other one in this set, like with the Raven Man, oh, 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 that, that one is way worse. Because I guarantee you that one is very annoying. I've dealt with that in the past many times, so I, I understand that is absurdly annoying. And these two, I have no green right now, I have planes yet. But do I have forest? No, not right now. I do, however, have a pup that will be there is forest. Uh, I'll let go of an additional island, actually. City's Blessing is actually going to be pretty easy in the Now I can actually have King Darien show up. That transisted very interestingly. So... Again, hello first blood. <laughs> Are they building up to something? Like a, a cleansing act or something? Or do we know?
that thing is not gonna ever get there. Just so say. Oh, it's a boast ability, that's right. Okay. I will, in fact, pay one. Oh, now I got the one that's useless because it can't transfer. Well, not entirely. I mean, it's still too good. This will hurt, however. Actually, I might use a special ability. <laughs> They're like, wait, what? Yeah, I actually did it, and then they realized, oh wait, <laughs> I can be eliminated this round because of of that. So yes. Okay, I finally had it swing back on those last round of trying there. So thank you for finally working out. Now I can see what the mystery set is going to be. One per for Barkleave Cliffs, Bar Black Cleave. That's a tongue twister, more than I thought. Black Cleave Cliffs. <laughs> This is one of those that enters the battlefield tap unless you control two or fewer other lands. So this is meant to be early, fast, or later, slow, but still a bicolor land. So, nice. And it's just a, a, a card style for it. So, just saying that th that's the one I got for my mystery aesthetic there. And that has been a Momir's uh, Madness match here. Again, with a little less madness, because they seem to have kind of changed up things over time. Again, I didn't know if they were doing it just for an occasion or not, having a few non-land cards in your Momir's deck. But it seems that's kind of part of things now, and I'm going to have to go along with the fact that sometimes we just have some random cards in there that just show up and help out once in a while on the bench. Uh, but, yeah, that, that's been an interesting run there. It, it never shows you the what's in the Momir's deck, so it's still a mystery, still something to just kind of go with as you go and see how things operate. Again, a great format for these events, for beginners especially, because you don't have to come in with a deck of your own, you don't have to think too much about it, you just go in and see how it goes, and eventually you'll get through. Now, that was a longer run for me on that than usual, but I still did eventually get through, so... This has been one of those times where it still showed you could just keep pushing and get there on Bomir because eventually chaos will swing to your side. For now, this has been Glitch Reaper, aka the original card game for the win. I'll be signing off for now. Hope to hear from you all later. Bye for now, everybody, and remember MTG forever. <laughs>